Robert Stephen Kelly here from Southwest Survival and today we're going to move on to our next lesson on our navigational series and what we're going to talk about is setting a magnetic bearing. Uh, like, I, like I always say at every start of every video, thank you very much for tuning in and taking a bit of time out to listen to some random scouser uh, on your screens and I thank you very much for all the support so far, I've had so many likes, so many comments, so many shares and it, it's been appreciated. And uh, do you know what? Uh, like I always ask as well, if you don't mind subscribing and clicking on the notifications, the little bell, so you're still getting videos of your next series every time you upload. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Now we're going to start the lesson. Uh, yes, yeah, setting magnetic bearings, and let's get amongst it. Just a quick reminder of the lightweight compass, all right? What you need to know about it, it's accurate to plus or minus 50 mils. That's it, you can't go any, you, you can't go any less or any more. It's accurate to 50 mils. That's how accurate it is. A bit about it as well, this is your main base plate. So if you're looking at your compasses now, that's your main base plate. This is your direction of travel arrow, that's the way you're going. So when you've got your bearings, that's the arrow you're marching on, you're pointing it and you're marching on it. That's your compass capsule. Your reading scale. Your index line, your index line is what's on your you cut your housing so you can see your bearing and what you're on. Your orientating lines, we talked about this when on our first lesson, orientating the map. You need to line your orientating lines up with your grid lines to orientate your map. Your compass needle. Your luminous patches, if you work at night, the best way to illuminate these is get them under a head torch, get them under any bright light, charge them up. Now when you're moving around at night, if you're navigating at night, you can still see it. Right, so what we're going to talk about now is how you actually take a magnetic bearing of how you want to march on it. So what we do, say we want to march to the church with a tower, we're going to put our compass right close to our chest, all right, nice and flat, horizontally flat, all right, and you're going to aim it where you want to go. So in this instance, we've got a nice and flat our compass and we're aiming at the church in the distance. All right, and all you're going to do then is move your bezel round until your lines and, uh, until you're red in the red like so. Let's go back again. Right, so what I'm going to show you now is how to actually take a magnetic bearing. So what we do is, we get our compass and we have a horizontal, like so, nice and flat like so, and we want to aim it to where we want to go. So in this instance, we want to go to the church with a tower. So we've got it nice and flat and we're pointing at the church. Our direction of arrow travel is pointing at the church. Happy with that so far. What we're going to do then is we're going to turn our bezel round till the red arrow is in the red arrow. And that's all we're doing like so. And as you can see there, let's go back so you can see it moving. Red is in red and that's a magnetic bearing, and, and you're going to march on that. Reason why we do this and we want to keep it the red and red, and why, even though we can see the church, if the weather comes in and it gets dark and gets foggy, you can still march on that bearing and you know you're going to hit your destination. So that is how we take a magnetic bearing. There are minimum distances that you must be aware of when you're taking bearings, like ferocious metal. Right, so armour and artillery, so if you're in the military, these are the type of things you want to be staying away from, up to 50 metres, well away from the 50 metres, or it's going to send your needles spinning everywhere. Soft skin vehicles, 20 metres, or if you're out camping, you're in your cars, move 20 metres away from them, because uh, they're going to they're gonna throw, throw your, your compass off, move a bit, a bit further off the car park, and then take your bed if you're going to go on a march. Radios, 5 metres away. Personal weapons and wire fences, talking about by the military, if you're using weapons, you want to be 3 metres away, and wire fences, if you just come into an area where you're going to navigate, and you're next to a farmer's field, next to a wire fence, it's going to throw your needle off and it's not going to be as accurate. Spectacles. So you've got your glasses on, all right, have your arm fully extended, I'll try and have a good meter, we'll take your beard and fully extend it and then move it till the red is in the red. And your watches. So if your watch is in that arm, you take your beard in that arm. That's it, it's simple as that. If you're taking a beard with your compass, in the same hand as your watch, it's going to send your bearing haywire. So what I want you to do a confirmation. I want you to walk into your back garden. What I want you to do is set your compasses to south. 
And all you're going to do is stand on a spot and you're going to keep tearing, tearing, tearing till the red is in the red and that's you facing south. Little test for you to get your brains thinking while you're sitting here now because this is a very short, sharp lesson. How many mills are the following? Now you can look at your compass while I'm uh, asking you this. But how many mills is north? Get your brains racking. Zero or six, four hundred mils. East. Sixteen hundred mils. South. Three, two hundred mils. And west, four, eight hundred mils. If you got these right, just let me know in the comments. So like I said before, what I'm going to do now is go out and practice what I've just taught you. Just try and just point at things in the garden, point at things in the distance, red and red, and uh, march on it and, and, and let me know what you think. Like I said, that was a short, sharp lesson, very, very quick, how to set a magnetic bed, and then all you need to do is implement it, practice it, and go march on it. Uh, like I always ask, uh, thank you very much for your time. If you don't mind subscribing to my channel, it's much appreciated. All the help, the shares, the comments goes a long, long way. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you'll have a great day.